The Chicago Fire are celebrating while the LA Galaxy and San Jose Earthquakes are not next on The Daily. Welcome to The Daily for Tuesday, October 2nd with Simon Borg. I'm Jason Seguini. News coming out of LA, it looks like AJ De La Garza will be out for the remainder of the season. He could return for the playoffs, but Simon, so far we're hearing remainder of the season, he's on the shelf. Yeah, he spoke at an event that was held yesterday, uh, and it's a little premature because the team hasn't made it official, but he mentioned being out for a month, he mentioned there being a tear as well. Omar Gonzalez even spoke about it. He says, let's get through the first round of the playoffs and see if De La Garza can come back. So uh, a, lot, a mix of news there. It's very unclear. It's going to be big, this announcement coming down here. Even if he does, though, get, make it back in time for some point of the playoffs, at that, at that point, you've played with likely Tommy Meyer and Omar Gonzalez at center back for, all this, for, for that time. And if you're lucky to get to that point, I think you've got to stick with the team that gets you there. All right, AJ De La Garza, not a very flashy player, but we'll see the value he has for the LA backline as they have to continue the rest of the season without him. One more injury note out of California. Medi Bellucci will be out for the season. Remember, the San Jose Earthquakes traded for him midseason, adding some depth to an already deep team, but he has torn his right ACL. He'll be out the remainder of the year. While LA and San Jose get some down news, the Chicago Fire are celebrating. Wednesday night, well, they'll celebrate their 15th anniversary. Remember, they came in in 1998, two years after the league was formed. Not only did they come in, but they won an MLS Cup and they won the U.S. Open Cup that year. So Chicago Fire have a lot to celebrate. 15 years, Simon, they're going to do it tomorrow night. Festive times in Chicago, and it comes at a great moment. The team is on the cusp of making the playoffs. They play on national TV against the New York Red Bulls on NBC this weekend. And on Wednesday at halftime, they're going to honor uh, several of the biggest names in their club history. Peter Novak, uh, Chris Armas, Cuauhtémoc Blanco, and then Section 8. The fan group that is so identified now with this club, uh, that supporters group is going to have uh, festivities on Monday at a local museum as well. So a lot going on around Chicago. Good time to be a Fire fan. Yeah, celebrating all week. Philadelphia plays at Chicago tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. That game's on the direct kick package and MLS Live. And one more note uh, from Chicago. Alvaro Fernandez called up to Uruguay's uh, national team for World Cup qualifiers. So his play of late has gotten him recognized down in South America. The Fire is celebrating at Toyota Park tomorrow night, but the Revs could be celebrating soon, Simon. There's actually some stadium news out of Boston. Yeah, it's preliminary talks right now, but Brian Bellello, uh, the chief executive officer of the New England Revolution, says there are preliminary talks with the city of Revere, which still leaves it in an urban area. They're talking about transforming a Greyhound Park that's been closed since 2010 and putting a soccer stadium there. The mayor of this city is really excited. He says this is right in the wheelhouse of soccer fans. So uh, some developments there that really uh, can have Rev fans uh, optimistic about the future. All right, we'll follow up on that. Stay tuned to MLSsoccer.com for more. And finally, Extra Time Radio came out yesterday. Simon, a couple big guests, Kyle Beckerman and Graham Zuzzi, some of the best midfielders in all the league. What uh, what they have to say on the show? Two MLS stars on the U.S. national team and two very frank interviews, very candid. Graham Zuzzi, you really get a glimpse into his humble nature here. Talks about possibly going abroad, what, what that entails. And, and he also talks about the MVP race. He says that he would UPS the MVP award, should he receive it, to Chris Wondolowski. That's how much he values what, what, the, what the San Jose Earthquakes and Golden Boot Leader has done this year. And then Kyle Beckerman. A lot of people wondering, will RSL get back to its old, uh, the old times? And he's saying, move on. We might not have those times ever again. So uh, very frank interviews with these two. All right, we'll see where those two teams end up on the power rankings, which also come out on the site. Stay tuned to MLSsoccer.com all week as we build up to a big weekend, which includes Portland headed to Seattle in front of 66,000-plus fans. We'll be back on The Daily tomorrow.